All right, everyone. Welcome back for another day of Taco Stacks. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. I know I'm going to post this on Thanksgiving. In fact, it's being recorded on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So in 24 hours, I'll be eating turkey. You know, probably a lot of other people will be eating turkey. But uh, yeah, stopping off at Dunkin' Donuts. We're doing some thrifting things and hopefully going to make today a fun day of finding cool things at thrift stores. All right, so we made it to the first thrift store. They actually have a lot of clothes. I'm shocked. I'm also shocked I found this. So I don't know because they haven't updated their their thing over there. So usually on uh, Wednesday, because that's when this video is being posted, they do 50% off everything uh, except the stuff they put out. Can't tell with yellow tags or what they put out because uh, they have five racks, all the racks over there. Didn't find one thing, but all the racks are miscolored. Like there's some that have yellow tags, some have blue tags. So I don't know what that's all about. But Patagonia found the thrift. Let's go. All right, at the second thrift store, I figured out what was going on at the first one. They do a completely different sale than all these other Salvation Armies. I'm moving this because I want to see what's in here. I'm going to try to remember what I moved so that way I can. But it seems like every single slamming and jamming it's this ball. I want any snooker balls. This does not have a price on, which is usually their prices around. There's no prices. I've noticed that with thrift stores, a lot of this kind of there's a snooker football. Why you get the matching combo kit? It's actually kind of a cool basketball. Uh, anyway, their thrift store, holy smokes. See, I'll get back to that in a second. Wow, they have all of this. This probably came in a nice set. This is all that gold uh, stamped Pyrex that's underneath there. It's funny how they have a yellow tag on the bottom and a green tag on top. You can kind of see the remnants of the gold stamp on the, the bottom. There it is. Wow, that must have been a nice set at one time. Kind of interesting here. Um, I still don't know what the deal is with the thrift store deals for today because it used to be 50% off everything clothing wise except for the tags that they put out that week. However, this store has nothing on their windows stating what it might be for the sale today. So I'm thinking they'd probably just switch their whole selling strategy. It's actually a pretty neat jacket. For only 13 bucks, it's not a bad deal. Unfortunately, I'm not a Flyers fan. So I'm going to leave that for someone who is a Flyers fan. But I will be buying this one because it does have a nice value to it for only $7.99. Still in good shape. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Gill and Carl Banks Leather Fashions. I like to say this is probably early 2000s. I think we're finding some pretty cool things. We got Patagonia and a decent jacket for eight dollars here. Let's see how good these sleeves look. A little bit of rough, maybe some. Uh, probably put something on that. This probably can just cl get cleaned off. That looks like it's been dragged on the floor a couple times. So for eight dollars, I guess I'll be a Flyers fan. I do think it's kind of funny though. They come in here for years. And the same people who've been here since the very beginning, in terms of like resellers, are still here. Like they still wait for carts. It's like every single time I come here, I come here on a Tuesday, a Monday, a Wednesday, and they are here. I respect the hustle, but at the same time, I'd appreciate they diversified where they got their stuff from. So maybe once in a blue moon, I can find a gem. Regardless, we found a gem. So let's grab this. I did want to show you guys this really cool, I guess it's for mixing salad. 
That's why I assume, because I think this is a salad spoon. Missing the other thing, but yeah, it's kind of cool, ain't it? I've never seen one of those on a stand. I mean, you find a mixing bowl all the time that has like a stand. That kind of makes sense, though. Yeah, it's supposed to, uh, there you go, lock in. Makes sense, because then you can just mix salad up here rather than, I guess, on a table or whatever it might be. It's kind of a nice buffet thing. One thing I've noticed with some of these thrift stores, some in the last thrift stores, they like to throw these like baseball jerseys in with these button up shirts. Keep that together. My wife, somebody sees that, they probably like the other one. And you can go ahead and get an American flag with it. I thought I saw one more over here. Anyway, those jerseys aren't really too valuable. What here is looks like it says Atlantic. They ain't just customizable jersey made for a softball team, company softball. And this looks like it's either a kid's jersey or a woman's jersey. Looks like a kid's jersey. It's marked XL. It's pretty tiny. Nothing really too fancy about it. No name on the back. Got a bunch of stains. Uh, I forgot about this thrift store. I feel like I lose brain cells when I walk over there because they have the, the music. There it is. They have the, uh, the music playing so, so loud. And it's Christmas jams. Christmas music which gets me to my next thing some people love Christmas music some people don't when do you think it's the appropriate time to start playing Christmas music one of those people who think ah oh, after Thanksgiving December 1st December 15th the week of maybe you even think play it whenever you want not say you can't play it whenever you want but when is the appropriate time to kind of listen to it on the radio love to hear you guys comments on that one and I'd love to find some more things at this thrift. Get yourself some suits. Looking pretty fancy, a little spiffy. Check out this one. Tweety Bird on Tweety Bird. On the plaid. When you earn 100 points, we'll give you 10 cents off per gallon of gas. Oh, what a shame. Your gas at Wise like Please a dirty know, stain on it. You can't tell, I'm not gonna do it. Sing a. Uh, Jay loves to do this, but this is actually dry rotted. These black t shirts, for some reason. We'll get to that in a second. Holy smokes, $20. Oh. Guess that's why they're still there. So this is why I grabbed it, still on a good old fashioned grandma's couch. Clay Aiken. Clay Aiken. 2004 tour t-shirt. I thought this was kind of neat. Uh, one of the things I did today, so today was the yellow, yellow was, and I'll get into this probably later, but the yellow um, tags were put out this week. So I kind of just looked for yellow tags and I figured they were the ones who probably were just put out, which meant that they were kind of fresh picking. This is only 99 cents. Nice New York 1994 bike week shirt. It's also 99 cents Harley Davidson. 2007 Harley has kind of fallen off it was hot I would say last year the most and I just kind of went bloop downhill uh, but I still think they're really cool shirts so this is a scran one and we have another one's 99 cents this is uh, 2003 I think or 2006 but it said 2003 no this is 2003 Byers Sports Center Honesdale so many Harley places. It's only for a dollar each. I'll definitely grab those as well as the Bike Week shirt. Probably will grab the Clay Aiken. What I was talking about with this one is uh, Jay from the Thrift. Whenever he finds one of these shirts that are black and are vintage, they might feel a little bit uh, textury. They don't feel like cotton. They don't feel like the new stuff. Uh, they sort of feel wet. Um, and that's because they are dry rotted and if you stretch if you just pull like that they'll actually rip jay has this like thing with always ripping them but kind of cool i will put this back because this is dry rotted aka when you throw in the wash this whole thing's going to tear up Wow. 
Wow. That's like dead stock. That is... That's a 1960s Hanes tag. Pretty confident there. And this shirt is thin. Very thin, very lightweight, very unique. Wow. A raglan pocket t-shirt. Still has the fold marks. Single stitch on the sleeves, single stitch probably on the bottom. Yep, on the bottom too. Wow, feels so nice, I can't even tell you. And we're in Goodwill. Something's ticking over here. So I stopped off at a new Goodwill that was down the road from the last Salvation Army. Never been down this way. It looks like they're fairly somewhat new because they have like a building permit on there. So they're either expanding or doing something. That is insane. Um, something like this, I don't know, anywhere between probably 50 to 200, I would say. Concerned that it's literally brand new, never worn. Probably closer to 200. That'd be my guess. Usually you wouldn't find vintage at uh at Goodwill. Speaking of vintage, vintage glove. I will say Goodwill, Goodwill's doing something that I really like. Um, they switched over to Shop Goodwill. If you guys have been on Shop Goodwill recently, you would notice that it's like a completely different site. And you also notice there's like no inventory. <laughs> it's funny. So, uh, from what I've heard, is a lot of Goodwills are actually not doing Shop Goodwill anymore. They were paying too much of a fee, they weren't getting a big enough cut. Um, so now they're going to stop doing Shop Goodwill at a lot of different stores. I've heard in Central Florida they stopped doing it. Um, and they're going to just bring the stuff and put them in the store. Price it maybe a little bit more, maybe not price it as much. Uh, but stuff that's going online is now going to be brought to the Goodwill store rather than being put online. Kind of like they're being rebellious, which, you know, is what it is. So, possibly some better items in the future. I'm shocked I found this. I really am. Like, I'm shocked. All right, so we had a fun day at the thrift stores. Just got back. It's amazing how dark out, it, dark it gets out so early. It really is. Uh, so I was going to try to throw, I guess, these two boards up on top of there. This is looking fairly nice. It's a good start. I've also uh, completely managed to put all my flea market stuff here. It's already sorted. That's flea market stuff. It's not It's not Lambertville. It's not eBay. That's all flea market. I, I fortunately got one side organized like that. All of this, that's a whole nother story. But uh, with the very few hours we have in the day, I figured I'd test out this new saw. Um, and I guess I'll just make some rig something together here so we'll see what happens what i would say is though like it was really fun to get out thrifting i know i haven't posted that many thrifting videos this year you know i think it's just kind of crazy what's kind of happened with the supply chain with everything i mean even at thrift stores there's just really really nothing on those shelves and i think a huge reason why there's not that many donations is because i think a lot of people during the quarantine really just threw away a ton of stuff, you know? Uh, this year especially, I have not found that much vintage at thrift stores. Jay says the same thing. Uh, finding vintage is just getting harder and harder to find. You guys might remember my earlier videos when I used to you know, fill huge bags of, of uh, Salvation Army bags of, of like just random stuff. But I used to come home with a ton of vintage clothes. And that was only like three years ago. Um, I just think times have just changed so much. All right. But another big issue that I have is like, I buy all these box lots and I go through a couple of them and I put them away, but like stuff like this, it's a lint roller. I have maybe 20 lint rollers in my house. This is a different brand, so I want to give it a try. So I took it out of a box lot and put it there because I want to try it. Do I need 20 lint rollers? No. Which gets me kind of to like, well, my next point's here in a second. But it's just like, 
like these pruning saws. I have three of these. These are great. I don't need three of them. Why did I put this aside like I needed it? All right. So, oh yeah, we want to measure this, right? Measure once, cut, cut twice, something like that. Measure twice, cut once. Take this chisel I had. I guess right here is probably a good place. Uh, maybe there. That's probably good. All right. So it's actually going to be a lot easier to finish up this whole warehouse. And the reason why I say that is because all I really need to do is just cut, cut once on all these boards. I just have to get them here. That's, that's the problem. This is a makeshift saw horse if I've ever seen one. Now what I was getting at with the, uh, the tools and whatnot is these saws, I actually went out and bought this one um, on eBay because I switched over to these lithium ion batteries. And I think what I want to do is all these older tools that I have that just like really don't work well, I then want to just sell them and upgrade everything else I have. So I've really like, I've picked up a lot of these tools uh, the past two years. But I think that might be, the, might be the way because there's no reason why I need to have five or six of these saws when you can only use one at a time, you know? And five or six different brands, some corded and some not corded, some the old battery, some the new battery. And when you have five or six, this is another thing. It's kind of like the screwdriver uh, saying I gave off last year, I think it was. If you have five or six hammers as opposed to one hammer, and you're going to find one screwdriver, it's going to be a lot harder to find that one screwdriver when you just have five or six hammers. But it's not necessarily the five or six hammers that's throwing you for a loop. It's the 10 hatchets, the 52 wrenches, the 105 paint brushes. Like, I gotta stop hoarding stuff. I know this has been a huge problem. And very fortunately, I don't have any like really crazy hoarding desires, but I gotta stop hoarding stuff. I should have wore glasses, and I probably should have not done that in here. Do as I say, don't do as I do. All right. So it looks good. That's another board that I can put there. Uh, unfortunately, these boards are really long. That's probably like, what, another two feet? So it was hanging off out here, and... Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to put another board over here. I probably could have. No, I'm going to probably run these boards I put over here up and up against this. I think that'll work. That's really stupid to do that here. Oh, well, live and learn, right? Live and learn. So, yeah, today's been a fun day. I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning up here while I still have sunlight. Uh, but, yeah. Enjoy everyone out there. Enjoy your um, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there from Salsa and my family, as well as myself. Can't forget myself. Um, happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of the week. Enjoy the weekend. Um, enjoy Black Friday as well and maybe Cyber Monday if you really want. Taco Stack Merchandise, first link down below, Cyber Monday. I don't think we'll have any deals. The deals are already... They're insane. Manager says, hey, look, you're giving away deals all the time. So, uh, yeah, first link down below if you guys want to pick up a, a merchandise. And I'll try to get out as soon as possible. But enjoy Thanksgiving and catch you guys next time. Catch you guys tomorrow. And uh, until tomorrow, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace. <laughs>